people might recognise you uh, from the campaign that we held over the winter period, um, raising awareness of men's mental health. Uh, you were brave enough to share your story um, with us and with the public. Would you mind telling us if there was a point that you thought, I I'd love to do this, I'd love to share my story? What was the point just at the end? It was a, a long process. But when I finished the cult walk, that was my ultimate goal. I finished that, that was the end of my demons. That was it. So the counsellors here asked if I would share my story. So I thought about it and I thought, yeah, so if I share my story, can make at least one person feel as good as I do just now. Mm -hmm. That 20 mile so feet is worth it. Absolutely. And so, and since then it's just snowballed. I've been able to speak more about it before I, I wouldn't say I won't mm -hmm. say anything, but now I can. Uh, well, I can't deny my face is out there. <laughs> 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 but it's been a great process. Uh, absolutely I'm glad to hear that. A really fantastic guy. And if one person, even one person comes forward and says, that's me, mm -hmm. I've done something. Uh, yeah. I've done something. It's an incredible thing to come out of sharing your story. It was an easy thing to do, but very, very rewarding to how you mm -hmm. feel now, to how I felt this time two years ago. Mm -hmm. and I'm a lot, lot better. If we were able to kind of go back in time a little bit then, um, and was there a, a key point that you thought, I'm really struggling at the moment, I need to speak to someone or I need to do something differently? Was there anything that really stood out for you? It was building up for a while. <clears throat> I knew there was things going on in my head. I wanted it sorted. And, and I lost a close relative who was like a mother and I. It was then that I, I broke down. And the wife, it was her, put me in touch with God's She says, mm -hmm. no, go and see them. Mm -hmm. They'll help you. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But at least you've tried. Mm -hmm. So she got the details. And to be honest, they sat there for a good month before I plucked up the courage. And just sitting by the telephone? Yeah, just sat there. Then I actually emailed them, and from then on, it's just been mm -hmm. fantastic. The support I've had has been fantastic. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was a hard step, but it was a good step. Yeah. I, I'll never turn that back. And Crossreach here have been fantastic. Absolutely fantastic to me. Excellent. The way I've I so really. <clears throat> supported me and I was never judged. The counsellor I got, she never judged me, she listened. And somebody that's always been put down, the idiot, I was able to sit and speak to her about my past, about my stuff. Mm -hmm. And not once did she judge me, not once did she put me down. Never did say that, you stupid boy, which is a thing I hated. She never ever should have. Is that something you were nervous about going into counselling yes. and how you'd be perceived? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, th I thought, there's people wash off and you, what are you doing here? What are you here? But no, I needed it and it worked for me and since then I have cut loops and bounds. Mm -hmm. I'm a far better person. Yes, I still have dark cloud hands over me, <clears throat> but I know how to deal with that now. Mm -hmm. So you sure kind of give me kind of tools <clears throat> and yes, yeah. the tools are there. Um, it, they work for me, mm -hmm. and everything I've been taught, and I've been told the doors always open. Don't sit and struggle. If you need me, cut the phone, and someone's there. I think that's a really kind of key message um, that you just said there in mm -hmm. itself, of the door is always there, and don't struggle in silence. Mm -hmm. Because they, they said, when I finished, I decided to finish it, they asked me how, how I was doing, and I said, look, I think I'm not cured. I've stopped looking at the past and looking to the future now. Mm -hmm. So they said, look, the door's always open. You, you might need to come back, come back. Don't ever struggle again. Don't go to be how far down I was. Mm -hmm. and so, so far I haven't needed it because they've got the tools to work. But I'm not saying I'll never need it again. Mm -hmm. Because I'll never be 100% cured that I can work on it. Mm -hmm. to help us 
to make myself a better person. Mm. So that's, that's really powerful. I and mean, I think everyone's journey is different. Um, everyone goes through things differently and tools are going to be different for each person. Yes. Oh. Would you mind sharing a little bit about if there's anything that has stood out to you in terms of the tools or as part of the counselling process that um, you kind of recognised as a, a turning point or anything like that? A few that just the, uh, the smoke screen comes down and concentrating somebody else to stop the voices in my head. Also, when I was young, I was a, <coughs> a close friend, and uh, I now go and visit his grave, and that that's helped mm. as well. I read up at Christmas time, but, and uh, that's helped as well. Mm -hmm. Kind of just go and see, speak to Paul, speak to that. There's things like that that's helped me. That's not nice. uh, thinking back of the happy times that we had as friends, that we done the things we done, exploring we done. Thinking of that, and that stops a lot of things, negative thoughts that are going in my head. Yeah. And do you recognise now that, oh, I'm putting myself down, I need to step away from that? Is yeah. there any kind of tools that you use? I think you mentioned to me walking. Uh, I love walking. There was, when I used to have a bad mood, I used to go on a strop walk. <laughs> strop walk. <laughs> and I would walk four or five miles on a straight line. Sometimes the tears were coming down. I knew I'd done wrong. I knew I flared up. But once I calmed down, I had to walk up four or five minutes back in a straight line. So I was taught now to make walking enjoyable. So if you feel yourself down, go for a walk. So that's what I do. Um, <clears throat> me and my cousin have done a Monroe so far. I've done a few combats. So we do the hill walking. And I do a lot of other town walk as well. Hence why I've done the kilt walk. And it was fantastic. I enjoyed walking, even walking around where I stay in Bucky. Being in the outdoors for work yeah, and for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing what you see that you don't see when you're driving or on a stop. That's true. Mm -hmm. And with beautiful coastline here, and I've done the Five Harbour Walk. And it's the Five Harbours from Bucky to Bucksai. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Never done that before. What a coastline that we actually live in. And before I've never. Head was down, on his mission. It's like you said, but driving with the blinders mm. on, you don't notice things around you sometimes. So it's taking that step. It helps a big thing. Mm -hmm. That's one of the biggest tools I've got. So I enjoy walking now. And the kilt walk was a big part of that. Yeah. And you raised money through the kilt walk as well. Yeah, I did. £735. Which is incredible. Mm -hmm. I thought I'd raise £100. But I started off with thought I'll do it. Then the money just kept. And I kind of thank everybody enough for the money they gave me. Mm. In this time of life, the economy we're living in, it was £10 and £20, even some £50 notes ago. Mm. It, was, it was fantastic. And People really are backing you. Mm -hmm. And it was then I thought, well, I've got, I've got friends. Mm -hmm. People believe in me before nobody believes in me. That's amazing. Yeah. So, so then I've done it, and it, the last two, three mile of the kilt walk, it was hard on my feet, so I phoned Mary and I went, I'm done. And she went, no, you're not. People back in your feet. That's your wife. Yeah, my yeah. yeah. And she went, yes, you can do it. Go for it. Right, where are you stopping? You don't give a hell. She's all these people are supporting you. Yeah, they are. And that gave me that last courage to talk about t bridge <laughs> <laughs> She'll never forget. <laughs> <laughs> What if you're still looking at it in the same way if you had to cross it? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't have crossed the team when I was doing a car or a bike. <laughs> but the fact that you, you thought about that and the people that have supported you and were backing you um, was powerful in itself to help push you over that yeah. finish line. Because that point I had the voices in the head see, I told you, you couldn't do it, you're useless. And then I thought, no. And they were constantly, no matter what I'd done, the tools that were given, it wasn't working. Because I think it was tired, I was sore. But the voice of Mari, and it was there, and I thought, no, I can do this, I will do this, and you're not going to stop me. And it was then crossing the table bridge that I shouted, get out of my head. That's, I can do this, I will do this, I will prove you wrong. And I did. 
I feel like that's a quote just there. I will prove you wrong. Yes. <laughs> that's amazing. Mm-hmm. And not only did you raise over £700 personally through the Kilt Walk, but by sharing your story um, through our winter campaign, you've raised over £70,000 so far. So amazing. Which is absolutely mm-hmm. astonishing. It's incredible. Um, and a testament to people really backing you, um, mm-hmm. connecting with what you've been through, your experience, your story. With sessions for counselling costing around £75 per session, that means nearly a thousand sessions that you've potentially funded. Right. And that's a thousand more opportunities for families um, to get that help that they might need uh, if they're struggling, if they need someone to talk to. What does that mean to you? It means a lot. It really means a massive amount. I just hope that someone does come forward, does hear me thinking well. Because it happened to me, I heard someone speaking and I thought, that's me. Mm-hmm. So I'm hoping that someone sees this and will think, that's me. I can go and get him. Mm-hmm. If he can do it, I can. I'm, I'm Mr. Nobody. Um, but listen to me, yeah, honestly, go and get help, it's there. Mm-hmm. Just come forward, don't sit and stew yourself or whatever, you know, get help, it's there. Make you feel a bit If someone was struggling um, to make that step, would you say, send an email then? Yes. Make it more mm-hmm. doable or uh, a smaller task, a bite sized task. Yeah, you? just look into it even. There's so much ways now you can do it. An email, there's Facebook, mm-hmm. a message. The point is, reach out. Yeah, just even you want to reach out to me. It's quite hard. You make sense. And um, how are you doing now? Good, really good. A lot, lot better. I do have it's a big smile on your face. Yeah, I do have the down days, but there's more better days, mm-hmm. more positive days, and there is better days. I never. There's always a, a, a false smile I had. I was the false, the happy lad at the party. That was me. Mm-hmm. It's always a false happy, but now it's just. This is what you get on the video. <laughs> this is me. So, um, yes. Have your family noticed the difference? Yes. Aye. Um, yeah. Aye. They always say you're a better person. Mm-hmm. And, um, I'm more tolerant, I suppose. I don't fly the handle as much, I'll say, because they'll decide me. <laughs> <laughs> Just the one thing. Yes. Well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I think we can, especially Mari, she knows the signs now. That she'll know when I'm, I'm going down and getting a cuddle is the best thing ever. Wow. And that is a, a big step. She'll just come up and give me a cuddle. Mm-hmm. For someone that didn't get cuddles when they were young, that's an amazing thing. And so that's a big thing for me. And she knows that now. Mm-hmm. She'll come up. And it just gives you a pick up. Yeah. It's, it, it's the proverb is a problem. She has a problem on. Mm-hmm. Well, that's I shared my problem yeah, yeah. with my with my family, and they now know they know the signs, and they're behind they, you. Yeah. So if someone else can see that problem, I think I know. I, that's me. Mm-hmm. Reach out. We're here for you. I love that. Mm-hmm. And we spent a bit of time um, kind of September October last year uh, writing your story. Um, yeah. It's a difficult one, trying to do it justice in a small space. Uh, what did your family think when they first saw it? Because we not only wrote the story, but we kind of designed it as well. And mm-hmm. They were, especially my children, they were so proud that I wanted Dad to actually write a sentence. <laughs> 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 and two, Dad, that computer on himself and managed to take that. <laughs> So when they read it themselves, <coughs> they were both, they were shocked and they went, well, they're, they're proud of me mm-hmm. for making that step forward. They, <coughs> they never realised, they'd met their grandparents as well, but they never realised just how much it was and affected me until they both read the story and they were so proud of it. Yeah. And that, to me, is a great thing mm. for my kids seeing, because <coughs> In my age, we're still cavemen. We are the father. We, we don't do hurt. We don't do anything. Mm-hmm. People don't like to see 
you hunt, but we do hunt. Mm-hmm. And, and it's a great example for them of reaching out if need support. Yeah, and if they need it, go for it. No, it was, it was hard for them, I suppose, to see that big King Daddy being, a, being like that. But mm-hmm. the support men are proud of me, and that's all I want in my life. If they're proud of me, I'm, I've done my job. Well, I'm also over the moon to have worked with you on this. Um, it's been a pleasure. Sure. Story in this campaign. Um, and I know for sure that it's going to go on to help more people to raise more awareness. Um, and to fund counselling sessions. So we can't thank you enough from your cross reach and for the people that you'll help down the line as well. So a huge thank you. Thank you. For, if it wasn't for cross reach, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be my face up there. So I thank you. Uh, Pleasure. Thank, thank you so much. Everybody, yeah, everybody's from cross reach, from the, the admin straight away up, has been fantastic to me. And I can't thank him enough. Thank you very much. My pleasure.